Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. And we are back with Amarillo. She is currently hanging out at the neighbor's house uh, with Atticus and Tiffany. And it's cool to know that he lives right over here. Has a giant house. What the heck? Um, let's take a look at what we were doing. We need to get fitness level 3. I wonder if Atticus would want to go to the gym. Maybe Atticus and Tiffany both. We don't work today, right? No. 6 p.m. Let's see if they want to go. Embrace. Don't do that. Stop that. Um, travel with Atticus and Tiffany and Atticus. Let's see if Azumi wants to go to. That's the girl we met in the park to play chess. We're going to go to the gym and we're going to do some working out and we're going to try to... Go ahead and get fitness level 3 while we're at this. Uh, we're making good progress. Uh, it helped that we started at level 3 <laughs> of the career. Um, but I know that there are going to be a lot of skills we need to work on as the generation goes on. So I'm, I'm really trying to push it a little bit here in the beginning so that we can focus on some other things uh, towards the end of the generation. Because Ruddy's almost went up straight to the end. Minty. I forget how early we, we finished Minty's. We didn't we didn't really finish hers too early, I think. Alright. Let's have her go and work out together. Go to it, guys. I'll follow you as you walk through here. All right, everyone's gonna be working out. Oh, Izumi, I like your little outfit. And Tiffany, where'd Atticus go? We lost him. Whoop. <laughs> we definitely lost Atticus along the way. <laughs> That's all right. He's probably off doing, he's insane, remember? So he's probably off doing God knows what, but all right, how close are we? Not very. So we're going to have to be working out a lot. Is there a trainer here or is it because we invited her? There is no trainer. No one is a trainer here? Oh, here. Um, ask Linda to mentor. Let's see if Linda can mentor us a little bit. Linda's nice looking. So this must be one of Tiffany's co-workers. So we're going to be friends with her, too. We're going to be friends with all the gym trainers. They want to be friends with the astronaut, basically. Way to go, Amarillo. Proud of you. Look at her go. Alright, we'll speed this up just a little bit. She's doing pretty good. Um, can we push the limits? Get out of here. Why are you standing on top of us, Kathleen Strahd? Alright, let's see if we can get her to mentor us a little bit as we push the limits. She knows we're being an astronaut. Is she mentoring us now? She might be. Alright, that's all I wanted to get. Fitness level 3. Um, Do they have a place that we can eat here or get like a... Right here. Your little son Atticus, where have you been? <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, have some dinner. Let's go have a salad. She's gonna come up to the upper place of this gym. This is a nice area. Can we go all the way over here? We could if we wanted to. Is this where Ruddy and um and Mayra came? I think it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who are you? Hillary Aravelo. That was our old neighbor from from the city. Don't be flirting with Atticus. Atticus, don't fall for that. The Aravelos are trouble. Oh, Amarillo, please be careful. I know, she's getting hungry too. I <laughs> just like how he's in a towel. Just eating some mac and cheese. Hey, Caleb. 
We should have probably served dinner, but everyone's up here making their own, so. All right, let's eat our salad while these people are walking through the counters. Where'd it go? Where'd your salad go? Oh, it's on the floor. Eat the garden salad. And then let's talk to Tiffany some more. Heartfelt compliment. Um, compliment her outfit. So we should be all good for this. Yep. Command center lead. Next one, low orbit specialist. Oh, sweet. Atticus, it's all right. I know. Being insane is hard. <laughs> And she worked out to complete her daily activities, too, so. All right. Come and talk to these guys, your two friends, while you're eating your salad. And then eventually we're going to have to go home. It is getting a little bit late. And we have to go to work when? 2 p.m., so not too bad. Hey, Gabrielle. As soon as she, she finishes that salad, I think she's going to gonna head home. Compliment his towel. <laughs> Brighton day. Caleb, could you not vamp out over here? You're putting on a little weight, Caleb. I'm just saying. You're getting kind of big. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember him being like that. All right, Gabrielle and Atticus are talking. Uh, heartfelt compliment. All right. Is she almost done? Can you finish that salad? Here, let's stop talking. Finish that salad and then we'll go home. <laughs> okay. We obviously have too much going on right now. Let's send her home. It's been a long day. Listen to Atticus's complaints. What's the matter, Atticus? So she's been doing a lot of jogging, so she's actually getting really getting to be a skinny mini here. Um, but that is okay. She might need to do some strength training to be an astronaut. Uh, I'm going to have her go home, take a shower, and then we'll probably just send her to bed. And I'm hoping that she's going to meet some co-workers eventually. Because we still don't know who... You know, she's not, she's not overly looking for love in any place. And she might not even get married. Um, she might not get married. Let me just check while this is loading... I'm not going to hear the sound for a second, but I'm still here. I'm looking for the rules of the generation. Does it say she has to get married? Um, no. She may not. She might, um... Not to say she's not going to find romance or anything. So obviously she has to have kids. Yep, she obviously has to have kids, but doesn't say anything about her getting married. So we'll see. We'll see where Amariel's life takes her, basically. If something happens, something happens. If not, that's all right. We will deal with it. Uh, why don't you also use this and then go ahead and head to bed for the night, Amariel. It's been a long day. You did a good working out. Good workout. What do we have to do for this? We should work on this. We gotta finish two more books. Uh, Linda, no. We just went to bed, unfortunately. We don't party at five in the morning. <laughs> Alright. She's gonna have to have some breakfast. Why don't you just have a quick meal? We'll just have some cereal this morning. And she's a loner, so she... I mean, it, it might be worthwhile in in thinking that she's not going to find a significant other. She might spend her life um, alone, but she still has to have a kid. So she might have maybe non-committal relationships. Oop, a little bit of a stutter there. Maybe some non-committal relationships. Uh, she's, oh, she's thinking about her mom, Charlie. Of course she is. Why don't you watch TV while you're eating breakfast, Amarillo? your fun up a little bit so she, maybe she has some like a one-night stand that leads to a baby or something but we'll see 
again, we don't we don't have to do much much in the way of planning. 2 p.m. she has to go to work. Let's have her read a book. Let's read if I can't for the life of me remember what she read before. Um I guess let's read Lord of the Swings. <laughs> Because obviously we would be a Lord of the Rings fan. Alright, so, and we're doing this because for Nerd, <laughs> nerd Brain, she needs to finish two more books. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, just finish that book, Amariel. And then we'll, we'll get to, get going to, to work here soon. This is the only thing about having her be a loner and being sort of by herself. Um... She, she, when she's doing something, we have no one else to fall back on. So we do have to keep that in mind a little bit. I know it's not the most entertaining thing. Oh, Daniel Fang. And Nora Fang. A Fang must have just died. <laughs> Happy Fang. Uh, but. That also means that this might be a, a shorter generation. Oh, thanks, Ruddy. I'm I miss Ruddy so bad. <laughs> it's it's unfair. All right, she's already ready for some lunch, huh? Have a quick meal. Ham and cheese sandwich. We don't want to be doing a lot of heavy cooking, basically. Watching TV while you're eating lunch. You haven't even changed out of your pajamas yet. This is a woman after my own heart. Oh no, she's thinking about her grandma. What are we watching on TV? Some diamond heist thing? <laughs> don't just set dishes everywhere. This is how we get... See, we have dishes, like, lying... She puts them in the wall. And I can't get to them. <laughs> this must be what we get from angling uh, our... Oh, there she goes. Good. Perfect. Then let's have you run to the restroom real quick. No, you can't go to the bathroom. There we go. And she should be going to work, yep, in an hour. So we managed to get this done. We have one more book to read before we can move on to the next step of Nerd Brain. I'm curious to see. I know we can check, but I like to be surprised just a little bit. Um, what are we watching now? Appaloosa Plains? Oh my god. That's the <laughs> I'm Rio, I don't know about your taste in uh taste in movies right now. Alright, she's gonna go to work. Yep. Enjoy your day at uh in space, I guess. <laughs> boss's birthday. Amario wants to get her boss a birthday present, but can't leave work to buy it. How should she go about it? Um Amario would probably make a present. Performance getting small. Amario tries to craft something with items on her desk, but grows flustered. Her boss walks up, inquires, and is delighted by the gesture. Amario is able to step away from the good feeling, step away with the good feeling of effort direct from the birthday boss. Good. We needed a performance boost. We're not going to get a promotion today, but we're going to get up there pretty far. And then when she comes home, I think what we'll do have her do is work on the rocket a little bit. Um, but she might want to invite someone over, actually. Or maybe she wants to grab some dinner with someone. Who are her Maybe her cousins? Let's do that. No promotion, I know. Sore, fr sore from work? What were you doing at work? Um, let's invite her cousins out. Piper and Whitney. She's going to go grab some dinner with the two of them. So we'll find a restaurant to go do that at. Uh, none here. How about... Did we put some in Newcrest, I believe we did? Hogan's? We need to put some more down. These have been the same restaurants we've had for three generations now. Could go to Delta's Diner. Um, let's do that. Go to Delta's diner. I don't... I don't know if... 
has Amario ever been here? I don't think so. I'll find some more restaurants in between this episode and the last one, and we'll we'll put down some more because more because it's it's the same restaurants that we've had. So if you have a restaurant that you recommend on the gallery or you want to make one for the playthrough, just let me know, and I'll I'll be glad to put it into our new crest. Um, obviously we're not gonna fill it up. Not enough people make stuff, but it would be great if we could fill up new crest with your guys' creations. I'm bad at bad at building, so. I don't make a lot of stuff here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright. Well, it made the noise like we were going through. There we go. Alright, let's get a table for us. Alright, uh, request a table. Now, we've had some... <laughs> Didn't someone die here? I think someone did die here. I know someone died at Hogan's Burger Barn. It tends to happen when we go out. Alright, can we have our table? Where are we going? Right here. Outdoor dining, huh? Why do we sit down and then sit together? Come on. Okay, and then order for table. Alright, we're all going to get root beer floats. That sounds really good right now. I think Amario is going to get... She's going to get a BLT. I think she will get mac and cheese. The other girl is going to get vegetable chili. Alright, so we're just out with our cousins, the twins. Um, eating some, some food at Delta's Diner. If you haven't seen this, it was made by one of the subscribers. Um, Delta Stat. She made this. It's a really, really cool, like, boxcar, treehouse sort of, sort of diner. Very small diner, but it's amazing. I love this. She did such a good job on this. So, of course, we're going to use it any chance that we get here, so. Alright, can you talk to these? Um, ask about day. Uh. Ask about career. What does she do for a living now? Are they still teenagers? No, they're young adults. They aged up for sure. Piper's unemployed. What about you, Whitney? Do you have a have a job? You doing for work? Helping out Uncle Rusty at all? Why does everyone just get up and move? Go sit together at your table. Gosh. What's happening? Oh. <laughs> I was like, what are they seeing? Jim. That's not what that is for. <laughs> she put that there as a flower pot, not as a bath. <laughs> oh my god. That's why they kept getting up. <laughs> Did that... It ruined our order. We have an order coming or no food coming? I think it did. I think it ruined our order. We'll see in a second. No, he's making chili. I see. We'll find out, I guess. I mean, meanwhile, we're starving over here. Come on. Yeah. I'm going to just run to the restroom real quick. It's it's taking a little bit. What do we... <laughs> I don't know. I don't quite know. Are we going to get our food or did it mess up? He's just over there cooking. All right, let's sit together and order for the table. Let's try it again. Would you get out of the bath, you people? Oh no, it's, we have our order in. Alright, well then let's talk. Uh, ask about day. We still want to know what Whitney does for a living. Are you bringing our food out? Whitney's unemployed too. Alright, everyone just keeps taking a bath. <laughs> so, 
I guess we, uh, we're not gonna get our meal. Okay. You know what? Amarillo's gonna go home. She's fed up. She's like, see ya, see ya cousins. We're not going to put up with this restaurant anymore. <laughs> That's weird. It didn't, we've never had that happen before at that, at that lot of people going in that bath. And taking a bath in front of everyone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Last time we came here, everything worked fine. <laughs> but I think that person taking a bath and kind of shoving us all out messed up a little bit. So we'll just have Amarillo make something for herself. She tried to go out and get some social and talk to her cousin, spend some time with family. Um, she might... Let's have her go ahead and have a quick meal. She's just going to have another... She's going to have a PB&J, I think. Just a light meal. Um, and I would like her to actually text her uncle. Where's Rusty? I don't recognize him, though. She's going to send a happy text to her uncle just to, just to say hi. Um, it's been a while since they've... They've spoken to each other. She wants to make sure that they're doing all right. Even though she just saw just saw the twins, so all right, clean this up, and then we'll have you uh, have you come to bed. And I think that is going to do it for today's episode. So um, again, I understand that the it's getting a little. We've got the weekend, so we've got the weekend for her to do whatever. Uh, it's really hard when you just have one sim in the house and they have a job that you have to go to. So I apologize that we don't get a whole lot done, that we're focusing on more on skills. That that will change. We'll get someone else in the household, whether it be a roommate or a baby <laughs> or uh, a love interest. I'm not quite sure yet. So let me know what you'd like to see in the comments. And we'll try to make it happen. So, guys, thank you so much for your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Not So Berry Legacy, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye, everyone.